Hey guys, got a new video for you today and as you guys can see it's going to be on a couple of knives. This is actually going to be an overview video. Um, this is a video that I've been planning on doing for a while and uh, just kind of kept you know passing up getting these knives um, you know just to get some other things but I figured uh, it was about time to do it uh, so I went ahead and picked up these two knives. Uh, these are brand new. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to use them and I've never used uh, these style of knives before. So um, this video is going to be for somebody that might be looking to either purchase one of these two or these two or something similar to it uh, so you can have a little bit more information on them. Now, um, like I said, I just picked these up, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, referring back to the manufacturer's websites to, for, the, uh, for the specs on these and uh, hopefully it will answer a couple questions on, you know, that, that you might have out there. So the first knife right here is the Sogzilla by Sog, obviously. And this is the uh, full size model with the Zytel handle. Uh, this has a weight of 4.8 ounces. And it's got a satin finish 8CR13 MOV blade. And the blade is 3.8 inches. Uh, really nice uh, opening mechanism there. Uh, it's got this uh, kind of modified hole with this little piece missing right there. Um, I think the reason they did that is to kind of raise it up a little bit so you can have a little bit more traction in the, uh, the jimping on the thumb there. It's a lockback design and it actually doesn't have the boy dent but what it does that is it has the uh, serrations on the you know on the actual um, lock mechanism so it uh, makes it easier to find and you know pretty easy to close. It's uh, it's got these uh, this pretty generous um, pocket clip here and it rides really really deep as you guys can see it rides all the way up to the top of the knife like a lot of saws do but um, I, li I like the fact that they you know kept it on this one and it is reversible for left or right hand carry uh, tip up only though uh, pretty generous lanyard hole it, the location is a little bit weird but um, I guess you know you if it's sitting in your pocket then you know you want it you know to come out if you're going to use it to pull it out or whatnot because it does sit pretty low so um, overall it's pretty pretty comfortable uh, design the uh, the handles have the uh, this little um, ridging on them and it makes it really good it grips really nice uh, as you guys can see in my hand um, it fills it up pretty nicely and it has the cutout right here so if you need to access the uh, the thumb hole it uh, it makes it easy to, to access and on your left or right hand so I, I like that about it the um, the other blade is the spider crow uh, bird cara cara um, a lot of reviews on, on this particular model. Um, this is the full size as well. Uh, this has a uh, blade length of uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to trying to find it here. Uh, three and seven eight inches. So um, you know, just about about the same uh, length as the other one. Uh, also, eight CR thirteen MOV, so similar steels. Uh, the weight is a little bit different though. This is a three point eight ounces, so one ounce difference between the uh, the two. But you know they they feel pretty pretty similar in weight. You know once you have them in your hand, uh, you've got the clip right here, and it is reversible left or right hand carry, and it's actually um, reversible for tip up or tip down. So you got a couple more options, but it does ride um, a little bit higher. So or the knife would ride higher in your pocket because the clip is lower. But then they actually put you know a generous uh, lanyard hole, and it's right at the top. So you know this is uh, where I would actually wanted to have seen it on the sock but you know obviously you know different different styles um, you've got that bird thumb hole opening and as you guys can see blade design is pretty similar to the Zog um, like I said this is an 8CR13 MOV and you know really cool uh, designs on the actual um, handle right here uh, you know the the, the the hole actually transfers back here to the to the handle itself as well um, and then you, you have the, uh, on the lockback right here, you do have the boy dent on there. You do have some jimping on the, uh, on the spine right there, and it actually, you know, it's really, really comfortable. And then you got a little bit of a finger troll right here with some jimping underneath as well, so if you need to choke off on the blade, you can do that. Now, um, let me have these side by side so you guys can see. Very, very similar in look. Um, blades are very, very similar. Um, and that's that's kind of what I wanted to do this review. So you guys can see, um, these two knives are so so similar that um, I don't think you'd be um, you know missing out if you went with one or the other. But like I said, you can pick these up um, either one anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars if you do some research. And you know I think for uh, for that price point, um, they're they're really good. 
it just uh, it just depends on if you're uh, more partial to either stock blades or um, bird bird blades, um, or you know if, if there's something about the particular design or functionality that you use. In other words, like this one has the uh, you know right up here where you can choke up on the blade a little bit more versus this one doesn't. Um, if you like the jimping right here on the lockback, um, you know anything like that. The lockback is a little bit lower on this one, so I don't know if that's going to make a difference or the pocket clip where this one rides a little lower in your pocket um, so um, you know either way like I said you, I don't think you'd be um, you'd be doing any bad if you went with either one of these you know they, they'll do they'll do good and like I said the weight difference even though there is about an ounce difference in weight according to the manufacturers website um, I don't I don't think you'd really notice it that much um, I you know I, I like the the design and the look of both of these so that's why I went ahead and got them to and got them both of them so you know these these will be rotated into my EDC. Uh, maybe not into uh, you know after I test them out, not as an you know not as an everyday carry afterwards. You know I'll carry them for like a week maybe just to give them a fair shot, and um, and then afterwards I'll probably use these as backup knives. Maybe you know throw one in the truck or uh, in an EDC bag or something like that. Because um, like I said, they've got pretty generous blades, uh, three three point eight inches and three point seven eight inches, so very very similar um, lengths. But um, they're, you know, they're obviously, you know, if you if you keep the edge on them, you know, they'll they'll be great backup blades. So um, I hope this answered a lot of questions that somebody might have had. You know, maybe some questions that would come up, and uh, if they do, you know, feel free to ask. And uh, thanks.